It is time. Dang in time. So let's go in there. I got all the settings correct around this one. It should be fine. I got the Discord up. I got OBS running. I got my controller plugged in. Uh, I got the volume set down as well. This time, off to a smooth start for this one for sure. Let's go in there right now. Let's go. Dang and Ramba. All right. Let's do this. All right, so last time we left off, Kyoko was at the bed, woke us up. Let's see what she wants. How she said I left the door open. So let's uh see what what's up with her. It's so late. What happened? I have a favor to, I need to ask. What's your favor? Remember what Sakura said at the end of her note? I'm not going to just lay down and die. I will fight you. I want to find out what she meant by that. Okay, but how do you plan to do that? Then Kyoko put her lips next to my ear and whispered, sweet nothings. The date center on the fourth floor. What? I'll meet you there. Without another word, she was gone. What the? Her words reverberated through my half day's head. The data center? But, but I thought it was locked. Alright, let's go to the fourth floor then. I made my way into the after hour school and headed for the data center on the fourth floor. Eventually I wound up at the data center and when I arrived, Kyoko's not here. That's weird, she said she'd meet me. Is she maybe inside already? I put my hand on the door and with a certain amount of force, I didn't open. I tried again but... It must be locked. What was... What was it, Kyoko said? The data center on the fourth floor. Oh, what are you doing up, oh, mister? God. Breaking into a locked room is incredibly prohibited, don't you know? Oh, well, I just... You're trying to tell me you didn't actually bust in yet, right? But... I can see... I can see that, you don't... Don't waste my time telling me crap. I can see for myself. It looked like you might break in in any second, so I just thought I'd give you a friendly reminder. Or are you going to try to tell me you were sleepwalking or something? No, not like that. It's 3 o'clock in the morning, for crying out loud. Even if I get tired, you know. Stop being weird and go back to bed. What's wrong now? Why are you out here making a racket? Kyoko? Now, you two? Whatever, you two, the two of you, just get back to bed. I'm possibly exhausted from the class trial. Sure, you got it. Come on, Makoto, let's head back. What? No. Didn't you hear me? We're leaving. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Don't worry about it. Let's just go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Go on. Get out of here. Shoo, shoo. So we left and went back to our rooms. And then... So, goodbye. Hold on. Listen, what was that all about just now? She, she woke she woke me up, made me go to the data center, which just so happened to be locked. And then she shows up late, and we leave without checking a single thing. What was the point of all that? <sighs> Don't worry about it. I figured that would be the end of her conversation, just like always, but... <laughs> well then, good night. Sure. And then that was over. But as I turned to leave... Hey, Foxy, welcome, welcome. How you doing? Muruku Ukusaba. 
Is that the name of the last student? Kyoko is right next to me once again, whispering into my ear. Ah, there it is. The 16th student. Lying hidden somewhere in the school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Oh, we probably met her already. We met her when uh, she dazed him in the room. Chapter 4, All-Star Apologies. The End. And then there were just like four or five of us. You received the altar lump present. Let's save. Right here. Now we can start with the other chapter. いくさばむくろ。この学園に潜む16人目の高校生。超高校級の絶望と呼ばれる女子高校生。いくさばむくろに気をつけて。yeah, he gave you two two very nice units. Kyoko told me to watch out for her. Oh, uh, Moruko Ikusaba. That was three days before the next incident. Three days before we sh would be faced with another murder. Three days before the worst thing so far would reveal itself. The oh, the cr Oh, yeah! I, I, I remember that animation. 100 mile dash playing the junk food junkie daily life. That's the one where like they're all the whole all, all of them on the screen pop up. Yeah, I remember that. I got that for uh, for for someone. I don't know for I should have clipped it, but I got it for I got like two or three summons and they're like congratulations. I was like, oh my goodness. So in the meantime, the day after Sakura's class trial that morning in the dining hall. <laughs> so let's begin with the usual post trivial. Uh, post-trial investigation. Hey, you didn't make small talk or anything. We never just get straight to the point like that. <laughs> if you want to keep up with me, you must refrain from the pointless small talk. Uh. Jeez, how high is, is that horse of yours? No, no. He just acts like that to hide his own insecurities. That's what I like to think anyways. <laughs> Regardless, if you want to defeat the mastermind, you need to follow my lead. They creep around the school like a mouse. But the mastermind's pride is exploded as a cow's udder. And no matter what it takes, I will rid this world of them. Hey, Toko, you've been pretty quiet. Man, you're so boring now. You just sit there like a mushroom. Gonna start calling you Miss Mushroom. She, she didn't snap back at you. What? No way. I would have sent a. No, it's okay. It's okay, bro. It's okay. I was like, I was like, he's tired. He's like, he got it. But thanks for coming by, though. This is. I was just like, but yeah, it was. It was good stuff, though. G good stream. He had a good stream on that one. She just. She didn't snap back at you. <laughs> her. Her talking makes things difficult. So I told her not to open her mouth without permission. What? But she can't open her mouth. She can't eat or drink water. I don't care. Are you okay with that, Toko? Jeez, how low is that rock you're hiding under? I believe this is a small talk Bianco warned us against. And yet, I let myself get involved. But it is now finished. I will never allow you to drag me down to your level again. Yeah, good, good stream, good stream. We're going to begin our, our search. Stop running your mouse, start moving your legs. Pressured by an obvious irritated Bianco, we all started our exploration. All right. Uh, let's go. Investigation. Well, they want me to go to the fourth floor, I think, this time. Fourth floor. Go right here. See if the fifth floor has been locked. Yep, first time playing. So wait, have you played this before?
So here I am on the 5th floor of Host Peak Academy. The 5th floor has been opened up to us, and it's totally different from all the floors we've seen up until now. For some reason it feels unpleasant. What's over here? No, not at all. I've watched my friends play it before, though. But I did enjoy the watching it. It's pretty interesting. Good story so far. It's a good story. Let's see what the clock here says. Sure, I can look at the clock and see what time it is, but what's the point? Even up here, they have it bolted out. This is where a window would be norm in the normal classroom, but there's some huge metal plate mounted over it. The floor has been sealed up with a sheet of metal, too. I'm so sick of this. Over here. No matter when, no matter where, surveillance cameras are following our every move. I mean, they're absolutely everywhere. How many cameras does this place have anyway? This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. It seems pretty useless when he's not on it. Actually, no, it's totally useless no matter what. This is the very first one, the Trigger Happy Havoc, part one. Alright, I'll leave the area. What I like to do, right, is I like to break it into segments. Maybe like an hour to an hour and a half. All depends on how the night cycle goes. Well, Toko's in here. I think I, I'd rather not talk to Toko here. Looking at the clock is, isn't going to help anything. Okay. And then the camera. I think the camera will say the same thing here. Okay, yep. Yep, same camera. Let's go back out here. Yeah, this one feels pretty barren. Oh, they have a, a dojo. What, 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 is, what is this? Right here. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is nice effects. You're gonna have a huge ride with this series if you plan on going way, whole way. It's pretty wild. I, I, it's all connected, right? I think if that if that's correct. A suit of armor is on display. It's extremely Japanese. Extremely Japanese, by the way. All right, so let's go over here. Oh, they're all connected. Very nice. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. It seems pretty useful when well, he's not on it. Actually, no, it's totally useless no matter what. Okay, oh, I read that already. It says Zimbun Sakura, Cherry Blossom. Alright, so we go here. It's a straw post used for sword practice. Did they use it for training here too? Even though the room is fully enclosed, there's a cherry tree planted here, and it's, it's a full bloom. Yeah. It's quite elegant. This is what you consider elegant? I lived overseas for a long time, so this kind of Japanese style scenery is, is refreshing. But considering our situation, it isn't it kind of out of place. What's this right here? The target seems pretty far away. Gotta say, pretty proud of my eyesight. Alright, let's talk to Kyoko. I don't mind talking to Kyoko. Let's see what she has to say. What Kyoko told me yesterday. What the heck did it mean? Uh, Kyoko? I'm not going to say anything. Huh? I can't say anything. Kyoko narrowed her eyes. Oh, there's a camera right there. Her gaze are up to the surveillance cameras. No. You understand why, right? She was trying to tell me that whatever it was, it was important. The mastermind couldn't find out. But how did Kyoko get her hands on information that could be that important? Yeah. We're finished here. She made it very clear that our conversation had come to an end. And just like usual, I didn't understand anything 
any better than before. Alright, noted. Go to the next area. Uh, so that was the Japanese scenery. Let's go into the light here. Oh, it's, this is the, uh, the forest. So the fifth floor is a biome. What? Okay. More cameras. No matter when. Okay, yep. I read this already. over here just to be sure I should take a look and look in that tool shed the place seems totally disorganized from a lawnmower to fertilizer flower pots to farm tools and leaning against the back wall is that a pickaxe so all these murder weapons here bags of fertilizer piled up there are so many different kinds to choose from There are different kinds of gardening tools here. Are they trying to get us to become self-sufficient? Huh? There's something carved into the handle of this pickaxe. Crazy diamond. I feel like I remember seeing that somewhere. Uh, there's a lawnmower here. Even with this here. Who's actually going to take care of the lawn? So many flower pots, big ones, little ones, any size you ne might need. Maybe I'll grow some flowers to put in my room. So, okay, so. Where have I seen that name? I've seen that name Crazy Diamond somewhere before, but I forgot where though. So we go to the next one. We check the tool shed. Let's see what's up here. Let's look at this, this phallic object. Oh, uh, what is this? The thing is super weird, super creepy. Flowers aren't supposed to get this big. Is this thing real? Watch out. That's a monokumo flower. I came up with the name myself. Try to touch it and you're in for some real excitement. Your heart's all like, whoa, and that, that plant's like, all like, snap. And your flesh is all like, blah, I'm dead. In other words, it's a monstrosity. It's pretty freaking amazing, if I do say so myself. A student at Host Pickup added improvement after improvement and created this miracle creature, the ultimate botanist. Although they don't go here anymore, they died during the tragedy. By the way, despite how it looks, that flower is super practical. It can eat paper, plastic, even people, so it's totally good for the environment. Such an eco-friendly creation is vital for the future growth of a healthy society. Now that I know anything about that myself, spotting more and more nonsense, Wanakuma eventually disappeared. Whatever it is, I better keep my distance. What's this right here? Is this a chicken coop? What's a chicken coop doing here? This is chicken co-op. This place even has chickens, huh? They're just regular chickens, right? Like, they don't eat people. Or lay bombs instead of eggs. Or something like crazy like that. Seems safe. It's a chicken. It doesn't have, like, a second form, right? Chicken that... Wait, do chicken... I don't think... I think roosters do that, does that call. I don't think chickens do that. Oh, I'm not sure. Let me check this other one. Yep, they're all the same chickens. It's not expected to be fair like humans, is it? It's not gonna like. Okay, so yep. It's all chickens. Step away from the chicken coop. Oh, you like chickens too, Makoto? Yeah, I love these little guys. They're seriously cute, right? And there's exactly five of them here. Exactly? 
five, you know, the number that comes after four and before six, at least in terms of natural numbers. Anyway, whenever the number five pops up, that's a good omen. It contains the mystery of the cosmos. It's a number of power, a refreshing number on par with hand squeezed all natural lemonade. He never lets me get a word in edgewise. Another monitor as well. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. It seems pretty useless when he's not on it. Actually, no. It's totally. Okay, yep, I read that like for the fourth time already. Hey, Tamori, welcome, welcome. There's some kind of control panel set near the wall. Does it control the air conditioner or something? It's for the sprinklers. Sprinklers? Yeah, it controls the sprinklers in the garden. Okay, I'll give you the quick summary. So pretty much after Mako uh, Kyoko woke us up, she said, uh, watch out for the 16th student. There's a 16th student by the name of Ikusuba. And then she told me to go to the data center. I met her at the data center, but Monokuma was like, nah, go back to sleep. So we went back to sleep, we woke up, and now we're here at the fifth floor. The fifth floor is home to a lot of different like natural forest stuff. So now we're here we are. The sprinks are set to go off every morning at 7.30 a.m. Don't you dare change it without permission. Of course. The setting panel is locked, so you couldn't change it if you wanted to. So that means the sprinks go off at 7.30 a.m. every morning. Yep, you got it. It's super user friendly, which sucks. So if you get here too early, you'll get drenched, so watch yourself. But you're not a little kid, right? You're too old to go run into sprinklers anyway. Or do you have some kind of water fetish? I'm gonna tell everyone. Alright, let's talk to him now. At first I thought I saw blue skies, but it turns out they just painted the walls and ceilings. Oh, but the plants are all real. It's been a while since I smelled vegetation. It helps me relax. That's not what you're thinking, is it? Huh? Wh why is that bad? Don't you get it? Don't you, don't you realize? The true horror of plant life? It's there, just beneath the surface. Beneath their calm exterior. They're always watching and waiting. And when they decide they can't leave us in charge of Earth anymore, they'll put in their plan for global human extinction into action. I'm serious. Yes. Okay, so that one's complete. Let's check out this classroom up here. Oh, let's see what Aoi has to say. The floor feels different compared to all the others. I'm not sure what it is. Is there some reason for that? I hope it's not anything too creepy. Why does she feel taller than me? Why Why do I look like I'm crouching? I have to look up to her. Alright, let's go right here. Oh my goodness. Nani Kore. The grotesque horror of the room struck me hard and fast. What I saw was bad enough, but what I smelled... It was sour, pungent, and possibly rank. It smells awful, doesn't it? It's... It must be at least vaguely familiar to you. After all, you've been around your fair share of corpses. Are you saying... It's the smell of death. They're flesh and fat and blood. There was no surprise in his voice. No shock. But he was right. I experienced the smell more than once before. It was the smell of death and despair. But the smell here is strong. Condensed. It's the smell of a battlefield. Monokuma must have. What? My fault again? Stop trying to blame anything on me. If you hadn't done what you did, this never would have happened. No, 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 it's quite the opposite. The opposite? Yep. Let me give you an itty bitty, edgy, sque squeegee little hint. Guess the students killed everyone? M maybe when they unlocked this floor, they all sat down there and someone went berserk. Like, and then, and then that's how they won. As far as this room goes, I don't know a thing. He doesn't know anything, ah. Uh, I just left it exactly how I found it. What? 
How's that for a hint? Better than those stupid hints you get from NPCs in those mean old RPGs. But it's pretty scary, huh? That's what I'm thinking. It was like a bloodbath. Blood over the walls and junk. Of course, even in the outside world, people die bloody, gruesome deaths every day. So it's not really a big deal. Just keep your chin up and keep on living, soldier. What's he talking about? He just left it the way he found it? What's the meaning of all this? So it's probably like the original class, right? And, uh... Oh, what's this right here? For... What's this is? F for... An, oh, I for an eye. It says I for an eye right here. His blood is dried up. There's blood all over the place. I want to shut my eyes closed forever. I get such a ghastly sight. Hmm. It appears all the blood stains are dry. And their colors are changed as well. I think it's safe to assume that these stains are considerably old. This is all really blood? <laughs> of course. I couldn't find it interesting otherwise. Yeah, so this is like... This is like... Uh, the 16th student, by the way, the name, their ability is called Ultimate Despair. So maybe the 16th student did all this. This, this is just dried up blood. And it is interesting, I, I assure you. What on earth happened in this classroom? He seems like he's enjoying himself. No way can I keep up with someone like that. Oh, here's the crime scene right here. The silhouette. There are white chalk outlines drawn over the floor. How many bodies were there? I've seen this kind of thing on detective shows and stuff like that. You always see it at the scene of a murder. I wish I could say I don't believe it. No matter when, no matter where. So bounce. Oh, yep. I, I, I read this. Okay. What's behind door number one? Oh, wait. No, let's not go there. What's this right here? It doesn't. What could it feel? Ultimate despair at the beginning of the game? Uh. Uh, I, I don't think Makoto felt- he just- he just felt like really depressed. Wait, hold on. You guys- Wait. Oh wait. Wait, wait, hold on. Sorry. I gotta go to the chat box here. Do you have an idea who's behind this? Uh, no idea. No idea. Uh, you remember him saying that? Ah. Uh, it's a guess so far. It's a guess. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. Some- Pretty, seems pretty useless when he's not on it, but I I think I think it's the the 16 student who did this. Actually, no, it's totally okay. I read that. Let's talk to Byakuya now. Uh, Byakuya, about what Monokuma just told us. I I no, didn't do this. Th this is probably like the the first class that did it. Is what my guess would be. It's like I'm not even here. He must be in lost thought. Is he really thinking of that hard? Or just flat out ignoring me. And then we'll have to check the, the final room down here. The nice little science laboratory they have here. It's locked. We came all this way just to be denied here. This is raw. The sign in the hallway says biolab. A biolab that we're forbidden from seeing into. Kind of sounds like something out of an old cheesy horror movie. Who was your guest again? I took off. Oh, oh uh, it's um, I think it's the the 16 student who did all that. The one we haven't met, the one who calls himself Ultimate Despair. I guess I've seen what there is to see up here for now. Once again, nothing I found seems to make any real sense. I need to head back to the dining hall and find out what the others turned up. One after another, everyone made their way to the dining hall. And before too long, <laughs> it would appear everyone has returned. But still, it's just the six of us. That's barely enough for a decent volleyball team. Okay, good pick, because to be honest, I don't remember what goes on from here. It's a it's faded memory? That, that, that's what another person told me. They told me they played the game before, they don't remember a, a lick of the detail. 
But they remember they had a good experience with it. So I was like, okay, that's good. Hey, don't be a sourpuss. We gotta think positive. Besides, even when one, one more person dies, we can still feel the basketball team. That's like reverse positive thinking. Anyway, there's no time to be depressed. For the sake of everyone we lost, we have to do our best. <laughs> can we stop all this group hug nonsense? We need to find out what everyone discovered. Alright, let's see what Kyoko discovered first. No. My concern was with the bio lab. That was the only place on the fifth floor that we couldn't access. Mm. The bio lab, huh? I wonder what's in there. If this were like a cliche horror game, it'd be some kind of creature. The final boss or tyrant or... Demo. We're not in a horror game though. <laughs> Either way, we don't need to hurt, worry about it at the moment. Don't bother thinking about something that can't be understood, no matter how much you think about it. Your tiny brains can only do so much, so focus on utilizing them efficiently. I don't really like how you said it, but what you said is probably right. No, how I said it is right too. Alright, let's see what Aoi discovered. I checked all the windows on the fifth floor, front to back. That used to that used to kind of be Sakura's job, but anyway, no dice. There were metal plates on all the windows, just like everywhere else. Which means no chance to escape from the fifth floor either. But when I was looking around, I realized something about the layout of the school. What exactly did you notice about the layout of the school? You took a good look around the fifth floor yourself. Didn't you, Makoto? Huh? Why do you ask? Yeah. Because if you did, you must have noticed. The fifth floor is lacking something every other floor has. There aren't any bathrooms in that fifth floor. Something on all the other floors, but not the fifth floor. Are you talking about the stairs? There aren't any stairs leading up from the fifth floor. That's what you're talking about, right? Does that mean the fifth floor is the end? We're finally starting to get a clear picture of the school. <laughs> All that's left now is to solve the underlying mystery. But that's the hardest part. Even if it's hard, we still gotta do it. Yeah, Hina's right. Everything will be okay, as long as we work together. I'm sure we'll make it out of this. No, no. I'm... No, not I'm sure. We absolutely will make it out of it. No matter what it takes. Alright, uh, let's see what Byakuya found. <laughs> By the way, did any of you find it? The other strange room on the fifth floor. Well, no strange. It's a massive understatement. <laughs> the smell of flesh and fat blood. The white outlines of countless corpses. It was more dreadful than anything I've encountered here so far. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> The smell itself was horrific, far beyond any normal murder scene. Every body smell concentrated. Oh, I'm glad I didn't see it. I feel like I'm gonna barf just hearing you describe it. They just sent Toko in there. But I mean, what the hell happened in that room? I can only think of one thing. A large group of people died right there in that room. A bunch of people were killed in there? Stop. Seriously, I'm gonna throw up. Perhaps that's what was meant by the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Huh? <laughs> You're thinking the same thing, then. My theory is the mass murders that took place in that room is the incident said to have happened one year ago. The awful scene in that room. That was the tragedy that happened a year ago. Precisely. The tragedy is another name for the genocide of the student group, student body group, the genocide of the student body of Hope Speak Academy. If that's true, that would explain why Hope Speak was forced to close its doors. Ah, okay. I mean, I guess that all makes sense, but it's all just so awful. So they closed the door and didn't clean up that madness? No, just awful. Super awfully awful. They're right, it's beyond awful. It's terrible, tragic, hopeless. But still, how is it one of us ever heard about something like that happening? 
Does that mean they really did cover it up? Ah, so that's, I mean, remember Byakuya knows some like secret documents and stuff, so he knows about the history, different histories. All right, let's see what Toko found. Hey Byakuya, it seems like Toko wants to say something. So, why are you telling me? Well, cause you used, you told her to zip it, or whatever. Ah, I forgot about that. Jeez, man. I know you like torturing her, but come on. <laughs> well, Toko, if you want to envelop us all in your putrid breath, I won't stop you. <laughs> you you're, you honor me, Byakuya. And don't worry, I took care of the odor problem. Ha, huh, Magica, you just gonna take it? Who the sight. And don't interrupt when the master and me are talking. Okay, so what did you want to tell us? Well, I was in a classroom on the fifth floor, and something caught my attention. It was this. A knife? Whoa, that thing is huge. It's like Rambo size. It's a survival knife of some type. But what was it doing in the classroom? How would I know? What you're gonna use that knife for? What are you planning to do to us? I'm not gonna do anything. I just picked it up. I don't want to leave a knife just laying around. I'd rather have it lying around than in the hands of a serial killer. Don't compare me to her. I'm nothing like her. Listen, more importantly. Now that we have the knife, what are we gonna do with it? We can't let Toko keep it, that's for sure. We don't know what she might do. I don't want it anyways. It's too dangerous. Hmm, so what to do? Why don't you hang on to it, Makoto? Me? Oh yeah, I totally trust Makoto to take care of it. Then that's that. Hold on, don't, don't, don't I get to say? It just shows how much they trust you. You should do as they ask. Are you sure it's trust? I feel like they're just using me. Okay, so here you go, Makoto. They're acting like I already said yes. Fine. I guess there's nothing I can do. I'll just keep it in my desk drawer for now. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Hey, Toko. Ah, uh, do I still have bad breath? S sorry, I'm sorry. It stinks. I'm sorry, it stinks. I'm sorry. You made a valuable discovery. Good job. Did the master just praise me? Hey, good for you. Uh, I'm dreaming. It must be dreaming. Ah, uh, that I would never ever experience such a dream. I, I feel strange. So, so strange. Really strange. Oh no. Uh, she's about to sneeze. Oh, whenever I look at I, t I look at Tokos these days, it makes me feel sad. All right, now we go to what is Hashiro says. Yashiro, where's the big garden up on the fifth floor? And I found more than one thing to be worried about. A stupidly large plant, a chicken coop, and I know you're gonna say, but a tool shed. Tell me about the plant. Monokuma said that was called a monokuma flower. Even touching it seems more dangerous, so we have to be careful. It's, it's totally a man-eating plant. I'm pretty sure it's different from the one that lives in the pipe, though. Anyways, that thing be must benefit from the sprinkler system as much as anything else in there. Oh yeah, apparently the sprinklers come on every morning at 7.30 on the dot. Yeah, I remember that. You don't want to get drenched and catch a cold. Well, you don't have to worry. They say idiots never catch colds, you know. <laughs> of course not, because idiots never get wet. Uh, I think you're thinking of ducks. I'm sorry to worry about you, hero. Can you tell me what 10 plus 10 is? Hey, come on. You don't always have to call me dumb. I may have been held back three times, but that doesn't mean that make me stupid. But it'll make you happy. I answer your dumb question. Uh, so what was the question again? Uh. Don't worry, you just answered it.
Dave. All right, so let's see what the, the next one is. What do you have to say about the chicken coop? There's a bunch of chickens in the chicken coop, right? Mm. That's right, five. Go, chickens. <laughs> I love chicken. Let's raise them, raise, raise them up, big and fat. Then we can make fried chicken. Oh, or barbecue. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> oh, or how about raw? Because there's nothing fresher than raw, right? I'm pretty sure that kill you. Uh, let's see what he says about the tool shed. You notice the two, huh? The pickaxe. Huh? What about the pickaxe? Oh, uh, well, there's a pickaxe in the tool shed. And the words Crazy Diamond have been carved into the handle. Haven't we seen that phrase somewhere before? Crazy Diamond. Hmm. Yeah, that does sound kind of familiar, I think. I, I don't just think I know. We've definitely seen that phrase before. Where? Oh, that's it. I remember. Oh, that was uh, his biker gang. It was Mondo's uniform on the back of the jacket. Ah, okay, okay. That's where that, that was from. His jacket said the same thing, right? Crazy Diamond. You're absolutely right. But why would that be on a pickaxe in the garden? Mondo must have snuck in there and done it, right? But we didn't have access to the garden until today. Then maybe Mondo brought it with him when he first came here. And Monokuma confiscated it. Whatever the reason. That's what stuck out to me in the tool shed. The pickaxe connected to Mondo. Well, what stuck out to me wasn't the pickaxe at all. Huh, then what did? What I noticed was the lawnmower. I think maybe we can use it to call for help. Huh, how are you going to call help with the lawnmower? I don't know, maybe I could use it to make a corpse crop circle or something. Yeah, maybe that's it. I'm going to make crop circles. And we use that to call for help. What the heck happened to you? You weren't like that in the beginning, you know? Well, back then, my personality hadn't been quite solidified yet. I don't think it was possible, but I'm more disappointed in you now than I've ever been. <laughs> well, I think that's all the new information we have for now. So, now what do we do? <laughs> well, starting today, you're all under my command. But before we proceed, I need to figure something out. Jeez, how cocky can you be? You're gonna bust through that ceiling if your head gets any bigger. So, what is it you want to figure out? <laughs> Kyoko's identity. Huh? Yeah, that's right. What is your identity? <laughs> Kyoko's identity? But Kyoko is Kyoko, right? <laughs> yeah, but who is she? The rest of have a clear, definable reason for having been selected to attend Host Peak Academy. Hina's the ultimate suing pro. Hero's the ultimate clairvoyant. Even Makoto is the ultimate lucky student. More unlucky than lucky these days, but... <laughs> so what about Kyoko? Can anyone tell me what she is? Uh, now that you mention it, she never told us. Uh, well, Kyoko doesn't really like talking about herself anyways, right? <laughs> it's not a matter of what she likes or doesn't like. This is a matter of trust. Can you trust someone who's unwilling to reveal their true identity? <laughs> We need to avoid raising any more unnecessary suspicions. So Kyoko, it's time you told us. I can't. Huh? What? Why won't you tell us? <laughs> Imagine if we didn't have a bunch of traders go make a second guild. Oh, don't worry. There's going to be a third guild soon, too. I didn't say I won't. I said I can't. No, no, and we no. had an all-out sack for us to focus on guild wars. Yeah, it is what it is. What What do you mean? Because I don't remember. What? I have no memory of what I am. You have no memory? You mean... Amnesia? If I thought you had a sense of humor, I'd say you were joking. But if it's, this is a joke, I'm not laughing. You can't be serious right now, can you? 
Oh, oh yeah, I saw, I saw. I was like, dang, I saw that. I read it in the Discord. I was like, that's that's crazy, man. But I say you did the right thing. Inform the police. Yep, I did. I knew you wouldn't believe me. I, I replied to you as well. That's why I didn't say anything. But it doesn't matter. Either way, the truth will come and make itself clear before we're done. So you have no intention of telling us. Then I can no longer stand by and do nothing. What are you trying to do? Tor torture me? <laughs> Nothing so barbaric as that. I will simply limit your options. I can't allow you to engage in any further suspicious activity. Limit my options? Give me the key to your room. But if she gives you her room key, she can't go to sleep in her room. She'll be breaking the school regulation. And if she doesn't want that, she'll talk. It's easy. All she has to do is tell us about herself. Just hold on. A threat like that. Eva. Fine. I understand. <laughs> Good. You're finally in the mood for conversation. Without saying a word, Kyoko right, walked right up to Pyakuya and held out her room key to him. Oh! Called him on the bluff. Says, here's the key. Take it. I don't care. Masaka. It can't be. He's like, Bakuna. Why, why do you refuse to talk? Whatever I want to or not, I can't. All I can do is keep telling you that. Maybe she really did lose her memory. If we really think about it, doesn't doesn't it doesn't sound totally impossible. This is the worst school ever, where only the worst stuff happens, right? Omnisha would fit right in. The worst school, where only the worst things happen. Do you really mean that? Huh? Can you really be sure that life here has been filled with only the worst things? What do you mean? Perhaps I said too much. Kyoko then turned her back on us, and without a word, began to walk away. Where do you think you're going? Don't worry, I'm not going to do anything to harm any of you. Those were her last words as she left. Kyoko's last words. The dining hall was silent. The only sound was the door opening and closing as Kyoko left the room. What's her deal? I think it went too far. Taking her room key like that. <laughs> For her, that wasn't far enough. Or maybe she gets off on the attention. I can't believe her, enjoying getting yelled at. You're getting noisy again, Toko. Sorry. I can still hear you. The sound of you breathing, of your heart beating, it grates on me. Are you telling her to die? I mean, I know how you feel, but... But what's Kyoko gonna do now? Plus, this, this situation It's just like before. It's no different from where everyone started accusing Sakura. And I'm, I'm no different either. I still can't stop anyone. What's wrong? What the hell? Why are you yelling all of a sudden? Cause look. It's you. How long have you been standing there? I'm very, very angry. Angry at what? At the thief. Yeah, that's right. I'm very sad to have to tell you. There's a thief in your midst. What? My precious. They stole my precious. Your precious. Your teacher has such faith in you. And this is... Okay, so he voiced it himself. Reality is filled with so much hardship, isn't it? No wonder people run away into their own fantasies. But what the heck is your precious? What a sight. I hope all of you get stuck in a hiring freeze and die penniless on the street. And he's gone. What the heck was all of that about? He said something about his precious getting stolen. Does anyone have any idea what that might mean? <laughs> it's like it's likely has something to do with Kyoko. Huh? <laughs> Who else another other than her would be willing to be able to steal something from Makoma, Monokuma? <laughs> Did Kyoko really steal something from Monokuma? But if that's true, what was it? And why would she do that? I think it's nighttime already?
そうです午後10時になりましたただいまより夜時間になりますまもなく食堂はドアをロックされますので立ち入り禁止となりますではではいい夢をおやすみなさい Uh-oh, we need to get out of here. We can talk about this more tomorrow, and about Kyoko. <laughs> However, after what just happened with Monokuma and Kyoko, I feel like there's something in the air. I would suggest you take extra precautions tonight. Stay in your rooms, and don't go wandering around. <laughs> Not like we need you to tell us that. <laughs> well then, let's disperse. I'll see you all tomorrow. Following his lead, each of us went back to our rooms. Ah, oh, that's right. I need to put away the knife that I got from Toko. Yeah, so Byakuya, he took away the key now. And、uh, so I don't know, maybe Kyoko's gonna spend the night with me. I think the safest place for it will be in my desk drawer. But anyway, is Kyoko really gonna be okay? She can't get into her room. What's she gonna do? Isn't there something I can do? Something I can. Just offer her your bedside. And there you go. Here we go. I knew it. As I opened my eyes, I realized I'd fallen asleep without realizing it. Why does she have to spend the night with you? Because she has no other choice. But more importantly, did I hear the doorbell? I guess Makoto's have an extra guest in this bit. Yeah, I get that extra. Oh, wait, I got this emote. Hold on, let me, let me show you the emote. There's some B. Oh, my bad. The immersion. Okay. Okay, well, let me just type it here. There you go. That one. So that's what's gonna happen. Did I hear the doorbell? I knew it. Kyoko? No. I'll be waiting for you in the dressing room. She was like, I was waiting for you at the door. See you there. Hey, wait, Kyoko. Without acknowledging me, Kyoko disappeared into the depths of the dark in the hallway. I know we're not supposed to go out during nighttime, but. <laughs> I just. I just. I can't just not go. I got to go. I gotta get in there. Okay, so let's, let's go over it. Let's go meet her at the dressing room. All right, let's see what she has to say. No. Sorry for asking you to meet with me so late. I'm okay. It's okay, I'm used to it. So. Indeed. Yeah. Well then, let me get straight to the point. It's something you can't talk about in front of the other surveillance cameras, right? So does that mean, does this have something to do with whatever it is you stole from Monokuma? Monokuma told us earlier that something has stolen Someone has stolen from something from him. Was it you?、Yeah. That's right. It was I. So I was right. But what did you steal? I stole this. A key. But looking at it, I could tell it wasn't just any key. It was shaped like Monokuma. It was probably the only key, the only key of its kind on Earth. Where did you get this? From the headmaster's room. What? You snuck into the headmaster's room? But wasn't it locked? The lock was broken. What? It was Sakura. She did it for us. Oh! Wow! So before Sakura drank the poison, she went Hulk on that door. She's like, you know what? I'm gonna die anyway. Wow! Give me that door open. Busted it open. And then she went have a seat and took, her, took a drink. She did. Remember what she said in her note. I'm not going to lay down and die. I will fight you. So Sakura broke into the headmaster's room for us. So, That's right. So what? So that we could uncover whatever secret might lay hidden within. She did that for us. She violated the school regulations to help us. She already decided to die. So her last act was to defy the rules of this place.、Yeah. I noticed the room was open after the class trial was over yesterday. But if I just strolled into the room, Monokuma would have noticed right away, which is why. 
I used you as a decoy. Oh, that's what happened there. Be like, oh yeah, go up to the data center, you know. Well, I go to the actual room. So you asked me to meet you at the data center in order to... So. Correct. I wanted you to draw Monokuma's attention. I took the opportunity to sneak into the headmaster's room, and as a result, I found the key. Wow. Then, what you told me you bought yesterday, did that come from the headmaster's room too? Did you find out about the Mor Morocco Ikusaba while you were in there? I did, I did find a file in the headmaster's room that talked about her, yes. I don't know all the details yet, but one thing I do know is that Mokoro Ikusaba is dangerous. Dangerous? She may well, well, very well be the mastermind. Mastermind? But didn't Alter Ego say that the headmaster was probably the mastermind? No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind. I'm sure of that. What? I don't have proof yet, but I, ha I have no doubts I'm right. To make such a strong statement without proof, that's not like Kyoko at all. But if it isn't the headmaster, does that mean more Mokuro Ikusaba really could be the mastermind? Anyways, this key is the one big opportunity we've been waiting for to get our hands on. Now that we've grasped it, we can't let it go, can we? Sure, but I mean, what's this key even unlock? I don't know yet, which is why. I need you to draw Monokuma's attention again, while I go and find out. Wait, so you're planning on sneaking back in again? You can't, that's way too dangerous. And you want me to draw his attention? But we don't actually know there's just one mastermind, right? If there's more than one person watching us. But it didn't catch me on last night, right? Maybe we just got lucky. Or maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Huh? Like I said, we didn't get caught last night. But as you said, maybe it was just pure luck. Which is why we're going to run the experiment one more time. And if we were successful again, then what, then what may have just been lucky guess will be proven true. As Kyoko talked, she was calm and collected as ever. I couldn't help but just stand there and listen. No. If it's true, then the mastermind can't watch us and control Monokuma at the same time. Then there will have to be a period of time where the mastermind is vulnerable. What we need to do is find out for sure if that's actually true, and we can exploit it. Yeah, so he got lucky that time. So she's abusing the luck power to not get caught. Maybe, but no matter what the reward, the risk is just too high. When I think what might happen if we, if we fail. I don't think you need to worry all that much, after all. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. No restrictions have been placed on our efforts to solve the mystery, am I wrong? Even when I took the key, I didn't break any rules as far as I can tell. But if the mastermind decides to do something, all the rules in the world won't matter. He could just kill us all without a second thought. I see. In that case, even if the plan fails, we'll still be able to prove or disprove the hypothesis. What? In a moment of crisis, will the mastermind break their own rules or adhere to them no matter what? In other words, we gain something whether we succeed or not. Now, there's no reason not to do it, right? We're just both gonna die. But... If you spend all If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. We know the danger, but if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. No. Am I wrong? At that moment, I finally realized. I never seen the slightest hint of fear or despair in Kyoko's eyes. Her gaze was firmly fixed on the mystery ahead. The enemy standing before us, and with that in view, she just smiled. I can't change how I feel, and wouldn't if I could. 
Then Kyoko took something from her coat pocket and held, had, held it out to me. Huh, what's this? It's a love letter. So, Consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it if something ever happens to me. If something happens... Then. I'm not planning on dying, but there's always a chance of it. And a death without meaning is unappealing. No. Please, I want you to hold on onto it for me. Fine, I'll hold on to it. Just because you asked me to. Maybe that letter reveals what, what her, her identity is. But I'm going to give it back at some point. You can be sure of that. No. Yeah, of course. No. Oh, and one more thing. You, can tell, you can't tell anyone else about what I discovered. Sure, because that's the chance a mastermind might find out, right? Yeah. Well, there's that too. Huh, you mean there's something else? So? It's nothing. Forget I said anything. I can't just forget that easily. Yeah. Okay then, shall we begin? Naegi-kun. I'm counting on you, Makoto. I just have to get Monokuma's attention, right? Well, I'll give it my best shot. Yeah, ne. I'm going on ahead. The rest is up to you. Her current goodbye was no different from any other time. And like every other time, she moved at a brisk pace as she left. What wasn't like every other time was the sudden knot I felt in my stomach as I watched her walk away. No, everything's gonna be fine. I know it. Because it's Kyoko. Talking to myself helped shake off some of my anxiety. And then I got to work. Okay, let's do this. Hey, Monokuma, you can see me, right? Get out of here. I got a bone to pick with you. Then a few moments later. Hey, there he is. Well, well, this is a surprise. You you being the one to call me out? Hey, by the way. Huh? What were you and Kyoko up to? Going to the bathhouse. Just the two of you. In the middle of the night. In a heating moment. Definitely a hot steaming moment, wouldn't you say? So warm and wet, so wet and warm, I bet you guys. Removed to conform a local international court sinister laws. All over her, didn't you? I sure did. Not gonna talk, huh? Sure, I get it. Well, whatever, unlike you, I have absolutely no interest in late night bath scenes. Because I like to maintain a healthy life of observation. Far away from X-rated ex exploits. Oh, so is that why there's no surveillance cameras in the bathhouse? Yeah, they talk. They just they're, they're in talking phase right now. Bullseye. Or is it maybe because the lens got all fogged up and you can't see anything anyway? Sounds like that's the bullseyes to me. Anyway, you went through all the trouble to get me out here. Now what do you want? Oh, well, uh... There's just something I wanted to confirm with you. Whether I'm a mademoiselle or a dude fella? But in the bear kingdom, there's no male or female. Uh, actually there is. Seriously? The what am I? My entire existence. That's enough. I'll get stuck if I think about it too much. So what did you really want to ask me? Oh well. You told us earlier that your precious had been stolen. What's this precious of yours? Listen, I'm sure this is a silly question. No way it's possible and all, but... Is that seriously what you dragged me out of here to ask me? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be 100 megaton freaking kidding me. You're not gonna ask something useful like how to get the best honey? Or your sign breeding tips? This is just crazy. Are all pubescent teen boys as nutty as you? Goodness, you're so annoying. Fine, I'll tell you. It was a key and block. That's it. What was the second thing? It's a blank. It's a secret. Fill it yourself. Making me trudge all the way out here for that. I'd like to see what's going on in that brain of yours. And the next time you saw me for something so stupid, I'll open your skull and find out. <laughs> Uh, dropping more than a few swear words, Monokuma stormed off. Phew. I hope I kept him distracted long enough. Now all I can do is wait and hope Kyoko will make it out okay. No, she'll be fine. It's Kyoko after all. I'm sure she's fine, right?
I went back to my room and laid down, doing my best to settle my nerves and go back to sleep. Here's Sakura. She she's in Dynasty Warriors now. Sakura's Revenge, the game the world has been waiting for. Unfortunately, development has been cancelled. Of course, if not people buy Danganronpa, who knows? So buy copies of your friends. Pew hoo Host Peak Academy. Aww. Hmm. This super stylish, super fashionable game was cancelled during development. But it'll start back up again if Danganronpa sells well. Then you guys have to re recommend it to your friends too. So uh, it probably sells well, right? Because there's a two and a three. My body feels so heavy this morning. It must be because I was up so late last night. Anyways, I need to get to the dining hall. Let me see. So we're at the hour mark. Is that? And we're we're at one night in. If I go another night, if I go, I don't know. Maybe maybe I could roll into one more night. One more night, or or just stop it here. It'll work. Okay, that's good. That's good. This is good for now then. Good progress on this one. What I'll do here, right, is um. Let me see. What I'll do is, hmm. I'll restart the stream, and then go straight into Grand Summoners. Yeah, yeah, I'll restart the stream and go straight into Grand Summoners. So far, people came out for this Dang and Rafa session. Thank you for coming out for the Dang and Rafa. Stay safe, brother. Alright, so take it easy, take it easy. Thank you for coming out, thank you. Thank you for coming out, uh, Miracle, Tamori, Foxy, uh, Panic. Thank you, thank you all. And uh, I'll, I'll be back like in five minutes. Take it easy. Uh, Bye-bye.